Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at centered average from array 2, and this is the Java solution. The problem states, return the centered average of an array of ints, which we'll say is the mean average of the values except ignoring the largest and smallest value in the array. If there are multiple copies of the smallest value, ignore just one copy, and likewise for the largest value. Use int division to produce the final average. You may assume that the average is length 3 or more. So before I dive in, I'm just going to talk about this last line here. Um, this is going to have no impact on the problem because everything we're going to work with are integers. So when you divide an integer by an integer in Java, it just assumes an integer and it chops off the decimals. So just down here really quickly, if you, know, if you or I do 3 divided by 4, we all know that's 0 0.75. But if Java does 3 divided by 4, it says, oh, 3 is an integer and 4 is an integer. You must want an integer. So what do I give you? I give you 0. chops off the decimals. And that's all this problem is saying. Essentially, when you do your division to find your average, you're going to chop off the decimals. Okay, so to make sure we understand the problem, what we need to do is we need to find the largest and smallest value in the array, um, and then to find the sum and subtract the largest and smallest, and then get the average of what remains. So here the largest is 100, the smallest is 1, so we'll add 2, 3, 4, and then we know that 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 3, because there are 3 elements, will give you 3. In this case, the smallest is 1, the largest is 10, so I'll add 1 plus 5 plus 5, plus 8 plus 7, and then divide that by 5 to get 5. In this last case, we see that the smallest is negative 10, and the largest is 0, so we're going to add up everything else and divide by 4 to get negative 3. And this has a really important idea. And that is a couple of them. First is, how do you find the sum of a list, or sorry, an array, I work in Java, and how do you find the max and minimum elements? So we're going to start there. So I'm going to make an int called max, and I'm going to set it equal to nums at zero. And I'm going to make an int called min, and I'm going to set equal to nums at zero. So these are going to store my largest and smallest values respectively, but I'm going to set them to, to an element in the array. And this is very important. People will often set these to zero, and it will work in a lot of cases, but that could cause a logic error. So the big takeaway here is you always set your max and min to a value that is in the list. Now I'm going to write a loop, and this is going to go through every element and add it up. So if we need to find the sum, we're going to make an int called sum, and set that to 0, and I'm going to say for int i equals 0, i is less than nums.length, and i is equal to i plus 1. And I'm going to say sum is equal to sum plus nums.i. So now I need to find the max min, and I'm going to use the built-in max and min function from the math class. So I'm going to say max is equal to math dot max, and I'm going to say max comma nums at i, and min is equal to math dot min min nums at i. And this is a good opportunity to kind of reinforce that idea that we have a function called max and it's being called with the name of a class. And what I know then is that max is a static function. What I know here, min is a static function. Again, if you're a beginning programmer, this isn't a really big deal, but if you really get in the habit of identifying in Java when a function is invoked with the name of a class and say it's static, versus when a function is invoked with the name of an object, um, it's an instance, it's going to help when you move into more advanced things. So I just want to trigger that kind of look for. And now I need to find the centered average. Well, the centered average is going to be simply, we're going to return well, the sum minus the max minus the min. And now I'm going to divide this by the nums.length, because I want the length. But remember, I've removed two elements, so it's going to be minus 2, because it's going to be the length of track 2. And I hit go, and there it is. I hope that video helped. This is a great problem. It has a lot of really good fundamental ideas. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Take care.